This video is a departure for the Donny Doors channel. There will be no screwdrivers, crescent wrenches, or miter saws. Instead, this video is about everyday personal lifestyle. What do you do when your face is dripping and salt's getting into your eyes? Well, you reach around, pull out a colorful piece of cloth, and wipe your face dry. You can do that because you're smart. You've got a bandana. Of course, maybe you'll settle for a handkerchief, but a puny old kerchief just doesn't do it like a bandana does. A regular sized bandana is well over 20 inches square. And that size makes all the difference when it comes to the many nifty uses of the practical bandana. There are all kinds of folks who wear bandanas. Sailors and gypsies, hippies and bikers, cowboys, construction workers, guys and gangs, and girls of all kinds. And so does yours truly. And so should you. With so many colors to choose, especially from American-made Havahank, you too can make use of a bandana in the several ways I'm about to describe. I'm not too sure when I started wearing a bandana. I'd seen them in westerns all the time. But I once got a tip from a hip TV grip about the warming effects of a bandana around your neck. When it worked, I was hooked, and I've tried to keep one on me every day ever since. Using a bandana to dry your face is a great convenience, but it has one setback. Once you use it to dry your mug, you can't use it for much of anything else. So if you want to use a bandana for delicate tasks like cleaning your glasses, then you'd best use a bandana that comes straight from the laundry. Soap and water, dab and dry. But back to perspiration, if you get tired of wiping your face, you can use that soiled bandana to make a headband. So how do you transform your folded bandana from a square of cotton cloth into a neat band around your head? You start by rolling it up, like so. First you spread it out flat, then you fold it diagonally in half to form an upside down triangle. Then you curl the tip over itself and start rolling the bandana toward the other corners. This roll is then wrapped around the head just above the eyebrows and tied in the back. One way, then the other. The basic square knot is all that's required. Of course, this makes one look like an old-time hippie. And that's not too cool anymore. So if you want to look more like an ex-gamer, don't roll your bandana, fold it. To make a headband sufficiently wide, start with the usual triangle. Then fold the bandana upward from the bottom point three times, about four inches, three and three quarters to be exact, two and three. Then flip the bandana over so the double's down, and you've got a bandana with attitude. Trouble with the standard headband is, it leaves your head uncovered, and if you're out in the blazing sun, it might be more important to cover your head than keep the salt out of your eyes. Though often associated with pirates, ARGH! If you have the courage to use a bandana as a head cover, you might fend off suffering heat stroke. Start with the usual triangle fold, point upward. Then pick up the two far ends and, while letting the point flop downward, wrap the bandana around your head, pull it tight, and square knot it at the back. Then pick up the point, lay it over, and tuck it in behind the knot. Sometimes it's best to preform the bandana before you slip it on. Now wearing a bandana hat may seem silly, yet wearing a bandana as a mask is somewhat, uh, Sinister. On the other hand, hiding their features isn't the main reason cowboys wear bandanas over their faces. <coughs> Herding cattle is a dusty business. <laughs> and even back at the ranch, a bandana can serve as a face mask. As usual, start out with a half-fold triangle. Then simply place it over your nose, pull it around the back, and tie it in the back with the usual square knot. 
A little water helps trap the dust. There is one way to wear a bandana that is sure to get you ridiculed. And that is in a band around your neck. Like a dude ranch cowboy or an aposh gangster. But, like any other use of the practical bandana, you don't wear it around your neck to look cool. You wear it for a practical reason. To keep warm. Say you're out and about wearing light clothing and suddenly the temperature drops. The people in your group start slapping their shoulders and complaining about the cold. But not you. You've got your handy bandana. Out of your pocket it comes. Once you find a corner, simply shake it out into the proverbial triangle. Roll it up like you do for a headband. But this time, you simply Tie it around your neck using the same old amazing square knot. If you've never tried this before, you'll be amazed as to how much warmer you feel. However, there is one drawback. People will crack jokes about your neckerchief. They may even out and out make fun of you. <laughs> but if you ignore them and keep your bandana on, you'll be a heck of a lot warmer than they are. Of course, there are thousands of things you can do with a bandana, but the five ways I've shown you here are the basic uses to which I personally put my bandana day after day, year after year. And maybe I've persuaded some of you folks to be wise and be brave and always use a very practical bandana, even if you stick out like a sore thumb.